There's a version of you waiting. There's a version of you that is the ideal version of who you are. That, that idea, that version of you that you dream about, that you know you can be, that you know you should be. But right? maybe it's, it's the next level of a sport you play, right? Maybe it's high school, maybe it's college, or maybe it's professional, right? Maybe it's a leaner version of you, a healthier version of you. Maybe it's a better father or a better wife, or a better husband. Or maybe it's, it's financial stability. There's a version of you in the future that you know you can be, right? That, and that version of you is, is someone that is real. That version of you has already been discovered, has already been laid out, has already been given to you by God and the universe. And so for a minute, I want you to imagine that version of you in a year, in five years, in 10 years. Imagine that version of you sitting right next to you. Sitting right next to you. And you're sitting there having a, a discussion with all that you can be, with all that you should be. Right, how does that feel? Right, that should feel great and give you some anxiety at the same time. Because you and I both know that there's some friction in that relationship, right? There's some friction in knowing what you need to do to become that person. And so here's what I want you guys to do and, and listen to this closely. We owe it to ourselves to be committed to the best version of ourselves. And we get caught up in, in today's relationships. We get caught up in today's pleasures. And we answer to this person or that person or this moment or this material thing or this current pleasure. We answer to that. And in the moment, we forget about this version of us. Right? This version of us. The best version of us. And so I'm going to speak to you from that standpoint. I'm gonna to speak to you as the best version of you. And what that person is saying to you, and I have it too, what that person, that ideal version of you is saying to you is I need you to do what you gotta do so that I can be what I need to be. Right? I need you in today's world. I need you to do what you got to do so that I can be what I know I should be. And so what I did at an early age, I didn't know it. Right? In my dream to be an NFL football player. What I did every night before going to bed. And what I did later on when I decided to go back to school and get my master's degree and become a chief financial officer, I did the same thing. Unknowingly, I did the same thing. And I want you guys to do this very same thing. And that is very simple, right? When you go to bed every night, I want you to ask that version of you. I want you to ask the ideal version of you. I want you to ask that version of you in five years, in 10 years, that version of you with the scholarship, that version of you making a million dollars, that version of you with the corner office, that version of you as a great father, great husband, great son, great daughter, that version of you 20 pounds lighter. I want you to ask that version of you, what do you need from me tomorrow? Every night you go to bed, but right, ask that version of you, what do you need from me tomorrow so that I can help you be what you should be in five years? It's that simple. Right? We're always asking for that dream. We're always asking from that dream. Right? Give me this. Give me that. I want a million dollars. I want to be lean. I want, a, I want a scholarship. But we never ask ourselves, what do you need from me? And that's a true relationship. 
right? That version of you is sitting right next to you. Scholarship in hand. Right bank account full. Health. Confidence. Lean. Strong relationships. Sitting right next to you. And all you have to do in the moment is ask that version of you every night before you go to bed what do you need from me what do you need from me